Oh, thank heavens, you're all right. Look, lady, you know, lady, I'm, I, I'm, uh, I'm sorry. Why didn't you tell me we were coming here? Because this is where you belong. I don't know how I feel about these people. Uh, I mean, I don't remember any of these people. They expect things from me I can't give them. They're trying to no shove one, a life down no my throat. It's like a that. black hole. I mean, you, why did you bring me here? Why I, brought I me to... I brought you here her. because this is where you belong, and Jenna is the woman that you belong with. at the towers tonight. Well, I did with Joshua and he canceled on me, so I thought maybe we could have girls night out. That sounds like fun. I wish I could. You're going to cancel on me too? I'm going out of town. You are? Yes. Where are you going? Chicago. Is everything okay? I have a meeting with the child welfare people. It's first thing tomorrow morning. Oh, Cassie. If everything goes the way I think it's going to, I'll have Tammy for a two-week visitation. Oh, that's great. I can't wait to see her. I can't wait to hold her in my arms. Is there anything I can do to help? No, I think I have just about everything covered. You want company? I'd be happy to throw a few things in a bag and come along. No, I, I already have someone going with me. very busy well I was but I'm not anymore I had a really long hard day but now you're here mm. you're here to rescue me my hero oh. <laughs> take me away from all this okay oh, I'm gonna get my I purse could. and we're I gonna can't, go I can't you can't I can't I'm going to Chicago why business business the uh the Lewises have a uh, a deal and uh, they said there was there was a chance I can get involved I want to check it out firsthand well, I was looking forward to a nice evening alone with you. I know, baby. It's only for a night. I'll be back tomorrow. Okay. okay. Promise? I promise. Romantic dinner for two? Yeah. I can't wait. I love you. I love you. Mm. And you know what? I'm really sorry about the other night. Oh. No, no, no. no. Come on, I mean, come on. I, I, I was thinking about it, and I've just... I was way overboard with, with the whole casting thing. Would you thing. please... You were right. It was silly for me to blow it out of proportion. She is an unnecessary complication in our life. That's it. End of story. Right. No more. Right. Okay. Okay. So I'll see you tomorrow night? Okay. Okay? I didn't hear you knock. Well, you were probably preoccupied with business. Yeah, I am busy. I'm very busy. I realize that we don't know each other very well, but I have a funny feeling that's all about to change. Annie. Annie Dutton. I know who you are. You know who I am? Oh, I was afraid that my 15 minutes of fame had run out. I would say it was more like infamy. Ooh. Ouch. You didn't come off looking very good in that trial. Thanks to Reva Shane. I think it was all you, Annie. Reva didn't do anything. You pushed the self-destruct button. <laughs> well, I had a little help from your daddy. But that's neither here nor there. I mean, Ross is a very good attorney. This isn't about him. It's not about Reva either. Okay. Great. What is this about? Well, this is a uh, personal matter between you and me. This is about the piece that we did on WSPR? Okay. I will happily refer mm. you to the legal department. No, the news, you know, I don't care what the news says or writes. I just ignore them now. Mm -hmm. Well, then what else would you and I have in common? This is about your fiancé, Dinah. Hart? Yeah, what about him? I, you know, I wish I was suing you. This would be less painful. Okay, before you get into whatever this is, I think you should know. I know you were recently released from a mental institution. <laughs> so I would advise against making any threats. Right. I am not threatening you. I am just trying to help you. I'm trying to open your eyes about Hart and a woman named Cassie Lane. 
And what do you know about Cassie Lane? Oh, what do I know about Cassie? I know a lot about her. She has been uh, intimate with Billy. And I'm afraid she's about to do the same to your fiancé. Hart's going to be with Cassie tonight in Chicago. That's ridiculous. Do you have a date with Hart tonight, Dinah? No. And why is that? Because he's, he's going, going to, to go, go to Chicago? On business. Heaven knows. You are not the only woman who's ever had to go through this. I know how much it hurts when you find out that the man you love is capable of doing something like this. Dinah. I am so, so very sorry. I mean, I had to debate long and hard before I came to you with this. Yeah, I'll bet you did. You know, you can think what you want about me, but I am telling you the truth. Hey, I don't want to stick my nose into your business. I barely know you, but I wish somebody came to me when Reba was stealing Josh away from me behind my back. Hart and Cassie are going to be together in Chicago tonight. I even have the hotel name in Chicago that they're going to be staying at. All right, let's just say for a minute that I believe you, that this is actually happening. It is. Just let me finish. Okay. I want to know what the real reason is for you telling me this. I want to know what you get out of it. Somebody else is going to help you get Tammy out of foster care? Well, let's just say that I, you know, have a better chance now than I ever have. Well, so who's a good Samaritan? I mean, I'd kind of like to know, seeing as you turned down the money that I offered you. Well, I, I don't know if he's a good Samaritan. Well, I mean, he's a lawyer with a lot of clout in Chicago, and if anyone can get me Tammy back, it's him. I'm lucky. Real lucky from the sound of it. So thank you. Thank you so much for the offer for dinner and the offer to come with me. Sure. I'll take a rain check for dinner, though, okay? You bet. And I really want us to get together, you know, just the two of us after I've gotten Tammy back. I think that's a great idea. Me too. I want to spend some time with you, and, and there's some things that I want to tell you. Why are you looking at me like that? Well, it, it's... I've just been thinking a lot about you these last few days. Well, I'm okay. Well, I'm glad to hear it. If it's true. Look, Cassie, I haven't beat around the bush with you since the day we met, and so I'm just going to tell you what's on my mind. You're keeping something from me, and I just wondered why. So I found him at company, and he was sort of out of it, so... Yeah. No, 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 that's not how it was. I came to your place on purpose. You didn't want to come home. I, right. I know that. Right, I didn't. You were wrong to trick me to come no, here. No, it was the right thing to do. No, these people are strangers. Look, I'm sorry, ladies. Buzz, I, mean, I just Buzz, don't know you. You know what I mean? You're going to huh? get to know Jenna, and you're going to get to know your family. No, I'm not ready yet. I mean, those people, that Frank and Harley, you say they're my kids? I mean, they're horrible. They push at me. I don't, I, I'm not, I need time to figure out things. I mean, I, I can never be able to do that with this but pressure this is all the over best. me. this is the best. For the best. It's for your uh, own good. How do you or anybody else know what's the best for me? Because I know what a wonderful oh, you know. life you had you know. before the accident. You had a love that people die for. No, no. So you please. talk to Jenna. You work this out with her. Oh, damn it. This not isn't what you want. It's not what I want. I'm can't not ready see? for it. Can't Tell you me see why. why. Why aren't you listening because to me? I can't. Now you stay here with her no. and you work it out with no. her. I don't no. want you to come with me. No! Yes. No. Oh, 